Good morning, everybody. Chris here. And it is Monday, October 3rd. And I am starting over on phase one of Live Hard today. I, uh, I had started last week, went four days, and I made a, actually three days, and uh, made a conscious decision to take, take the weekend off and start over. We went down to Fort Benning to see our oldest son. He just finished up basic training at Fort Benning, getting ready to start AIT. And I knew I wanted to be present time focused with him because our time with him was limited. Um, when we haven't seen him in 10 weeks <laughs> since, uh, since he left for basic. And I wanted to be present time focused. I want to enjoy our time with him. And I chose to uh, take the weekend off instead of do I could have probably could have done all my 75 hard stuff um, but uh, the extra task and some of the other stuff that I've been doing um, would have taken a lot of time away from being with him so I made a conscious decision to take the weekend off and today I'm back at it and I'm actually glad I did that. Number one, I got to spend a lot of good time with, with our oldest son. And it was well worth it. Uh, just amazed at, at uh, the young man he is becoming, the soldier he's becoming. Um, and uh, very impressed with, with all of the people that we saw down there, uh, soldiers, officers, Everybody, you could tell they had that they had that mental toughness, and a lot of that is bred through the discipline that they that that gets pounded into them, and that they have to have in order to do what they do to defend our country and to stand strong. And I admire that. I was impressed by that, but it also motivated me quite a bit. During 75 hard, I gained a lot of mental, mental toughness. I flexed my mental toughness, built that muscle up, made physical changes too. But seeing my son and seeing all the other soldiers this weekend made me realize I've got a long way to go. You know, they can do it. I can freaking do it. So I'm starting phase one off again today with new motivation new inspiration and new passion i also saw even though we didn't we didn't eat crap <laughs> all weekend but we we did eat some we, we ate, ate some junk food ate out a few times because that's what our son wanted to do uh when these soldiers get these weekend passes they want to eat because they don't <laughs> They don't get the best food in the army and they don't get huge portions and uh so all all he wanted to do was eat and rest and hang out with us so that's what we did but i am feeling the effects of eating a poor diet not a great diet for just one weekend just for three and a half days um and I still ate, ate fruit and drank water and all that kind of stuff, but just a little bit of fast food and junk food and crap has made me feel like shit today. Uh, I don't feel good, and I don't like this feeling, and I want to remember this because I don't want to go back to that. I don't ever want to go back to that crap. Um, so, took the weekend off. Enjoy the time with our our son. Enjoy my beautiful walk this morning by the creek. Uh, so I'm glad I did it for a lot of reasons. So uh, stay focused, 
stay on track if you uh, if you get off track you can get back on whether it's a, a conscious decision like the one I made or whether it's a, an oops or an accident which really if you're honest if you mess up and forget to do one of your tasks during the day you planned it fail to plan plan to fail big part of this program 75 hard and live hard is about time management and focus and desire do you really want it enough is it important to you is it a is it a, a want to or a have to for me it's a have to and I want to I want to change my mind and my body and my spirit but I also have to for lots of reasons I've listed before okay hey guys how's it going so what what is it for you do you just kind of want to do you really want to or do you have to get after it wherever you are in this program today go kick some ass take some names don't let anybody stop you make yourself a priority because if you don't make yourself a priority you can't be there for other people it's like the uh, the airplane stewardess analogous analogy when you get on a plane and they start going over safety instructions they tell you in the event of an accident or crash air mask come down put yours on first and then help the person beside you if you're not taking care of you you can't take care of anybody else so get up get off your ass get out there and do some damage stay hard stay strong live hard go kick ass have a great day